Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Today's topic is Introduction to Organic Chemistry from Class 10th, Chapter Number 11. In this topic, we will going to discuss that how firstly organic compounds was discovered and what are the ways to write down the organic compounds. So let's start the discussion. Now it seems quite amazing. In early history, around about 1828, the name organic compound was associated with living matter or we can say with life. As we know that nowadays number of organic compounds are preparing every day in laboratories. But at that time it was considered by Levoisier that compounds obtained from plants were often made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. While all those compounds obtained from animals are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur and so many other elements. But they don't have any concept about the preparation of organic compound in laboratories. Then after that, there comes a vital force theory. Now here, the word vital is representing something magical, something mysterious. That was given by Brazilus. He was a Swedish scientist and according to him, organic compounds could not be prepared in laboratories because they were supposed to be synthesized under the influence of mysterious force and that is known as vital force theory. Then in 1828, it was Wohler who firstly prepared urea from ammonium cyanate by heating process and that was the first organic compound named urea prepared in laboratory and after that series go on. Acetic acid prepared in laboratory and so many other elements are used to prepare organic compounds. So that was something about the history of organic compounds. Now we have to discuss that what are the types by which we can write down the organic compounds. According to the modern definition, organic compounds are hydrocarbons, compounds of carbon and hydrogen and their derivatives in which covalently bonded carbon is an essential constituent. Now here, what is the meaning of word derivative? As we know that carbon satisfies its four valencies. As it is positive four, so it forms four bonds, having four electrons in its valence shell. When these four bonds are formed with hydrogen atom, it will be known as hydrocarbon. And when one atom is replaced by another atom, like with sulfur, phosphorus, nitrogen, or any other element, which can replace hydrogen, so it will form a derivative. So, in this way, basically, organic compounds are also known as hydrocarbons. Formula of organic compounds can be written in four ways. Molecular formula, structural formula, condensed formula and dot and cross formula. So let's discuss them one by one. So the number one is molecular formula. The formula which represents the actual number of atoms in one molecule of the organic compound is called 
molecular formula. Here, the word actual is super important. Now, here the first example is methane. The molecular formula of methane is CH4. Now, here we can easily count the number of actual atoms present in a compound. In methane, one carbon and four hydrogen atoms are present, which can be easily shown by molecular formula. Basically, it is representing the number of actual atoms in a compound. Next is ethane. Now, when we talk about two carbon, here we are discussing hydrocarbon chain. And if chain is made up of two carbon atoms, it's going to be known as ethane. And ethane consists two carbon atoms with six hydrogen atoms. After that, propane. Now, the word propane, what it means and how many number of carbon atoms are present in propane, you're going to understand it by means of molecular formula. Now, in molecular formula of propane, you will come to know that it contains three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. After that, butane. And butane means four carbon atoms. Hydrocarbon consisting of four carbon atoms with ten hydrogen atoms. By knowing the amount of carbon and hydrogen atoms, we can also understand that which type of a bond is present in it. If all the valencies are satisfying by means of hydrogen atom, it means there is no double and triple bond is present and maximum number of hydrogen atoms are attached with carbon. So we are talking about alkanes. If maximum number of hydrogen atoms are attached with the carbon chains, then we are talking about alkanes. So in this way, just by knowing the molecular formula, we can easily understand what type of a bond is present and how many number of atoms are present in a hydrocarbon. Next is structural formula. Now in case of structural formula, it also show bonds, not only atoms. Structural formula of a compound represents the exact arrangement of the different atoms of various elements present in a molecule of a substance. This is structural formula of isobutane. Now, here we can count the number of carbon atoms. Let me count it. 1, 2, 3 and 4. The big balls are showing carbon atoms, while the small white balls are showing hydrogen atoms. Now here, by knowing the structural formula, we can easily understand the bond formation. Here the bonding is also shown. Single bond is present between them. And that's why the word ane is used here, which means butane. Alkenes are bonded with single bonds. And as in this case, the second carbon has a branch. So that's why it is known as isobutane. Now, by means of a structural formula, we can easily count the number of atoms as well as the bond present in it. So, it's all about structural formula. Now, if four carbon atoms are arranged in a simple chain, so we will consider it as butane. It will not gonna be isobutane. Now, in case of butane, four carbon atoms are arranged with single bonds having hydrogens with them. Next is condensed formula. Now in condensed formula, the formula that indicates the group of atoms joined together to each carbon atom in a straight chain or a branched chain is called condensed formula. The word condensed means to make something short. 
here the central atom is carbon and how many number of atoms are attached with carbon will become written in a short form like in this example the number of carbon atoms and bonds are actually shown but the number of hydrogen atoms are condensed they are written in sum up form in a calculated form so this is an example of condensed formula of butane last but not the least electronic or dot and cross formula now this formula is mostly used in chemical bonding because it represents the number of electrons given by each atom the formula which shows the sharing of electrons between various atom in one molecule of the organic compound is called dot and cross formula or electronic formula here is an example of propane and butane propane three carbon atoms butane four carbon atoms now by this example we can easily understand that each hydrogen is sharing one electron and each carbon is sharing four electrons as hydrogen belongs to group number 1 so it has one electron in its valence shell and as carbon belongs to group number 4a it has four electrons in its outermost shell then how bonding takes place can easily be understand by knowing dot and cross formula you can get more lectures on organic chemistry just by clicking on intermediate playlist in science tree channel Thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day